on to this year and we've heard from James, we've heard from Andrew and basically there's, there's no hiding from the fact that we didn't set out to achieve what we wanted to achieve this year. We'll never accept mediocrity and, and missing the finals was disappointing for us all. But I'm here to tell you tonight that we've far from sat on our hands in the off season, we've been extremely active in making sure that 2014 is our best yet. We regard the people in this room as our most loyal and passionate members and supporters. We know we're on the right path. And I know it's a lot of, it's something you hear at this time of year, a lot of clubs talk about the fact that we're on the right path, we're going the right direction. We know we're on the right path. Um, and in terms of knowing that, we've made some key appointments and some key announcements that I'd like to make tonight. Everyone in the room would know Aaron Black signed a new three-year deal, taking him through to the end of 2017. Now, it's not only Aaron, Ben Cunnington's also signed a new deal, taking him through to the end of 2017. And so James and I are a little concerned because Aaron and Ben now have the longest tenure of anyone at North Melbourne, so they're in charge of the place from here on in. Lindsay Thomas has also signed a contract extension to the end of 2016. And you would have heard me talk regularly about Lindsay and his amazing story. I've got the utmost respect for the way Lindsay's gone about things on field and off field. He's an absolute credit to himself, to his family and to this football club. He's become a player who's not only finished seventh in the Coleman medal this year, an extraordinary achievement for a small forward, but someone who's grown as a person. And his role as a leader in the Blackwoods Indigenous Academy has just been outstanding this year. So uh, we... Our players love Lindsay and we love having you part of our club. I think James is spot on at North Melbourne, never beaten. In addition to the players you've just heard about, so many players of, of ours have re-signed and committed to our club long term. Our staff have committed long term. Our players don't want to leave this football club. It's really gratifying to me today at the first day of trade period that we're being approached from players from other clubs from staff from other clubs wanting to buy in to what we're doing here at North Melbourne. It's a fantastic time for us. You may have heard some of the more prominent uh, speculation in the media that we've spoken to Nick Del Santo. I think it's a reflection of this football club that Nick Del Santo has nominated us as his preferred club. If he leaves St Kilda, he wants to come to North Melbourne. It's a great badge of honour for us to wear that players of that calibre are now seeking out North Melbourne as a destination to play their football. A terrific result for the staff and for the board of this club. Earlier this year, James mentioned we had our annual Shinbona Club function, just an unbelievable night full of people who are as passionate as any football supporters I've seen. To raise over $800,000, to enable us to pay 100% of our TPP, to retain our players, to allow us the ability to get in the game for some of the higher profile players, uh, is an absolutely outstanding achievement. This club is extremely well positioned off field and no doubt other clubs or other players from other clubs will be seeking out North Melbourne people and wanting to speak to us about playing their or seeing out their football future with us. Another terrific announcement is the finalisation and the father-son bidding process this morning where West Coast bid their pick eight for Luke McDonald. I think a reflection on where other clubs see Luke we certainly see him inside that, so we were more than happy to use our first pick, Selection 8, on Luke McDonald, and Luke becomes an official member of the North Melbourne family. <laughs> Before I move on to some other exciting announcements, I want to acknowledge uh, the work of Cameron Joyce. Cameron's someone who has done an absolutely outstanding job in structuring up and securing our playing list. All these announcements of re-signing players is due to the hard work of Cameron Joyce, done an absolutely outstanding job juggling a number of roles, uh, a rock of support to me uh, and my wife knows that because I'm on the phone to Joycey every single night, most mornings as well. Uh, he's been absolutely fantastic for us so big thanks to you Cam. First an announcement on our coaching panel and potentially it's a premature announcement but I'm going to make it anyway. Lee Tudor has agreed to a position with North Melbourne as an assistant coach, uh, joining Darren Crocker as two extremely experienced coaches to support me. 
Uh, I say it's premature because we've given Lee um, the opportunity to interview for some senior coaching positions at Brisbane and West Coast. Uh, we're still uh, confident that Lee will come to North Melbourne, but there's an Essendon coaching position which Lee has um, been asked to apply for. And so as soon as that's rectified, we'll be able to announce Lee in an official capacity. But again, I think it's a reflection that Lee Tudor coming from a premiership at Geelong to two grand finals with St Kilda, a premiership at Sydney, and now to our football club is a reflection of the type of calibre of people that we're actually attracting to our football club. So we're excited about that. Also coming on in the development area is Ben Dyer. Ben Dyer hails from Western Australia, uh, premiership coach with Claremont Football Club this year, probably the most respected football co uh, coach outside the AFL system. So Ben will come on, uh, absolutely terrific for us and we're thrilled to have him at Arden Street. We rank so highly in so many areas this year on field. Number one in contested possession, number one in clearances, number one in a lot of areas. But one area that the players have heard me talk about on a weekly basis is our tackling, something that needs to improve significantly next year. And so we're pleased to announce that John Donoghue, uh, tackling coach for the Melbourne Storm, will be joining us as a full-time tackling coach next year. <laughs> and no doubt we'll see some significant improvement in that crucially important area for us. Again, to John Haynes, who we saw at the start, I, I think, uh, a special mention to him because with Luke McDonald coming in, Donald McDonald, who's been, who's really set up this football club and been a, a pillar of strength in our football department, has moved across to commercial, which meant John Haynes and Cam Joyce have headed up our, our football department this year and just done an absolutely outstanding job. So John's a key part of our football staff, a key part of what we're doing in the football department, and we wouldn't be able to secure these crucial off-field appointments if it wasn't for John Haynes' hard work. Thanks, John. And I think it's while we celebrate these great appointments, and there'll be more to come, but while we celebrate these, I think it's really important that we put our hands together for those who have departed. To players, Cameron Richardson, Ben Spate, assistant coach, Brett Allison, development coach and manager, John Lamont, who's been with this football club for a, a long time, been an absolute tower of strength. The young players that you see coming through are largely due to the hard work of John Lamont. So we'd like to thank them for their service. I'd also like to pay tribute to the groundwork laid by Donald. Uh, he's worked with a, with a tight budget, less resources than some clubs. And Donald's ensured that this club has never bottomed out. We had a situation in our last game where Port Adelaide couldn't get the job done against Carlton by the width of a goalpost. We had a game against Collingwood in our last round that was essentially a dead rubber. Now I'm sure that a lot of clubs would have looked at their ladder position in a game that had no consequence in terms of playing finals and thought about their draft position. But this football club never does that, never at any stage. We fight for absolutely everything we get and part of that culture has been built up over the generations. But in this particular generation, that culture has been nurtured and developed and demanded through Donald McDonald. So he's done a tower of work for our football club. I'd like everyone to acknowledge his contribution. For the second year running, North Melbourne has had the best injury rate in the competition, the lowest uh, soft tissue injury rate, the lowest injury rate full stop. And this is not coincidence that it's happened 2012, 2013, and it's definitely not luck. Steve Saunders and his team do an absolutely outstanding job in preparing our players, educating them, conditioning them, and getting them healthy and making sure that we've got the best team we can pick every single week. Steve is an unbelievable asset for this football club. We're so proud to have him. We hope we've got him for the long term, and we know our players are going to be better prepared than anyone else in 2014. Thanks, Steve. Finally, to our board, I think North Melbourne, shin boners, never beaten. I think it's a fantastic motto, it's a fantastic way of thinking about our football club. It's time we reclaimed what being a shin boner means. The shin boner spirit, 
being a shin boner has been hijacked by certain members of the media, certain members of the football community. For too long, it's been associated with, club, with a club that's been downtrodden, down on its luck, fighting above its weight, well, no longer. We are about redefining what it means to be a shin boner. And shin boner, never beaten, doesn't have the associations that it used to. And so as a football club, as a football department, and as a playing group, we'll reclaim the term shin boner. And we'll define it in our own way. We won't allow it to be hijacked by anyone else. We, our supporters, our football staff, our football players will claim back the shin boner spirit and we'll define it in our own way and we won't let anyone else define it for us. And so our board play a key role in that. And we talked, we're going to announce a fantastic profit. We've got some key football announcements that we'll make over the course of the next three to four weeks. Our football club's very well placed. But we wouldn't be in that position if it wasn't for James Brayshaw and his board, Carl Delina, our CEO, and his executive. And when people talk to me about the contribution James Brayshaw has made, the first thing that always comes to mind is, well, if you're a North Melbourne supporter and you love this football club, we would cease to exist as we do now if it wasn't for James Brayshaw. So that in itself, we should be enormously thankful for. My wife, Penny, I don't get to thank you often enough, Penny. Um, you, I don't know how you do it. Uh, you're a marvel, but rock of support for me. Uh, but this time, definitely, finally, the most important people in the room, our loyal supporters and members. We are in an envied position as custodians of this football club, me as coach, the players who represent our club each weekend out in the football uh, field. We're in a unique position because we have the most loyal, the most vocal, the most passionate supporters in the competition. We may be smaller in number than some other clubs, but what we lack in numbers, we certainly make up for in passion. So we thank you very much for your support. So in closing, it's been a frustrating year in a lot of ways, but we've never been uh, more confident about the direction our football team's heading in. I'm really proud of our pl playing group. I'm really pl proud of Scott Thompson, our All-Australian, Todd Goldstein, our All-Australian squad member. Our leadership group's outstanding. When Nick Del Sando says he's extremely uh, impressed with our leadership group, so he should be, and it doesn't surprise me. I can assure you there's more exciting news to come, but right now you might have to give us a bit more time to work, about, uh, work on that. Thanks very much. Enjoy the night. Thank you very much.